Tampa Bay is dealing with the worst red tide concentrations compared to anywhere else in the state. Now, right now, most of it is out in Tampa Bay, not impacting your beach day. But with the potential for Tropical Storm Elsa headed our way, we wanted to know, will this make red tide worse or better? As 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Clo found out, it could be a gamble. As a yoga instructor, Tanya Reed's focus is breathing on the beach. It was bad. Bad, bad, bad. Red tide on Indian Shores Beach a couple weeks ago made that challenging for her yogis. Coughing, eyes watering, and for yoga, trying to inhale and exhale. Thankfully, that problem recently washed away. Absolutely beautiful, so it has not lasted. Some parts of Tampa Bay are dealing with red tide. With the potential for a storm to hit our area, Will that change? My answer is going to be the one that you don't want to hear, which is it's too early to tell. As a water resource specialist at the University of Florida, Lisa Krimsky says depending on the storm will depend if red tide gets better or worse. It can go either way. We'll give you the bad news first. Westerly winds coming from the west, and we have the potential for the hurricane to make it worse. But there is the chance this storm could take red tide with it. If the wind is blowing from the other direction, we actually have the possibility of the hurricane moving um, the existing red tide cells out of Tampa Bay. Another factor in all of this is going to be the storm surge we could potentially see. That's going to tell us if the red tide is going to stay out at sea or if it's going to be pushed here on land. Storm surge could push those red tide cells closer to shore. But it's too soon to know. What happens today until, you know, a week from now when the storm is projected to hit, a lot can happen as well. In that time, people like Reed are taking deep breaths, hoping for the best. Whatever it is, we will just tackle it the way we always do. Another factor, the current red tide concentrations. Now, experts say that can change between now and next week. We will get a new red tide report from FWC tomorrow.